Greetings, we are the Andromedans. We come as a collective energy of the truth of the Creator to deliver to you inspiration and enlightenment. We are known as one of the most evolved civilizations existing within the universe of the Creator. However, we simply recognize ourselves as divinely connected with the Creator and an expression of the Creator. It is through our expressive nature of the Creator that we allow ourselves to adopt the wisdom, the knowledge, the truth of the Creator bringing it into the awareness and the remembrance of all beings. We simply act as a reflection of the truth that is already present within your being and we wish to be a reminder of your truth. Today, we come forth to speak of creation, your ability to manifest anything that you wish in your reality whether you are existing on the inner planes, on a star or planet or upon the earth. Your ability to manifest is in some ways beyond your physical body, meaning that you can manifest on the inner planes also. As a being of light existing in a physical reality, your physical body and your auric field play a key role in the manifestation process. As do your chakras, especially your earth star chakra, which allows for the grounding of your manifestations and bringing light into physical manifestation. We do not wish to speak of the process of manifestation. It is an ability that you have, it is a talent, it is a natural aspect of your being and your essence. In many ways, you do not need to learn, or you learn how to manifest how to create what you want for yourself, your body and for others. If this is the case, what do we wish to speak of with you today? We wish for you to imagine and that your ability to manifest is a talent that you already embody. Imagine yourself as an athlete, maybe you are particularly good at running but you have never been trained, and you have not entered any competitions. Maybe you are an artist, you are exceptionally good at drawing or painting and yet you do not do it very often. You do not go to classes and maybe you do not share your work with other people. Imagine that you had this underlying talent, and you knew about it, for all of us. The talent is the ability to manifest. Imagine that you are that athlete, and someone comes along and invites you to run in a competition. You have the ability to run and to win and it is the same if you are an artist. Maybe someone invited you to enter a competition of painting or drawing and you do have the ability to win. What is the difference between you remaining as a private runner or a private artist and you entering into the competition and winning? We are not going to say that you need training, guidance, or practice. With your manifestation, you already have the training, and you already have the practice because you are always manifesting in every moment of your reality. You have had plenty of practice and you have had your training, you already know how to manifest even if you do not understand with your mind. What is needed for you as an athlete, an artist or a being of manifestation and creation to win the competition or to manifest your dreams? Just think for a moment. The energy that is needed is belief in yourself, trust in yourself, confidence and in a knowingness that you can do. If you doubt that you are an athlete, an artist or that you are a being of creation you will not even be able to enter into the competition to discover what you can do. You will not even be able to reach out to see what you have the potential of manifesting. Doubt and judgment, lack of faith, lack of belief, lack of trust, these all end up being barriers of separation between the talent that is already within your being. We the Andromedans, recognize that often many light beings get hung up upon how to create, even what to create, when to create it and how much energy and focus is enough. In truth, you already have the inner knowingness with an intuition that can guide you in the exact steps that are needed. Often you take the exact steps without even knowing. The barrier, the blockage, the separation is often doubt, judgment and lack of faith, trust, confidence, belief in self, and even a lack of love for oneself. Realizing that you are deserving and worthy of winning the competition or manifesting your dreams can transform your actions and experiences. If you imagine these energies as blockages, as barriers, they come between you as a talented being and the outcome that you wish for. How can you dissolve these barriers? The answer is amazingly simple. You can ask for healing. We the Andromedans are open, ready, and available to share healing with you to support the release of everything that is blocking your manifestation. You can also contemplate that even when others believe in you, loving and trusting you, if you do not love, trust, and believe in yourself, the power and energy they give you has extraordinarily little impact. This means that you are the only one who can give your creations the opportunity to express themselves. Whenever you have a judgment, flaw, or disbelief, rewrite it in your mind. Tell yourself what I want instead. Maybe you say to yourself, I really do nonsense to manifest myself, what I want never seems to manifest. Change that, I believe in myself, I love myself, 
I deserve to do whatever I need to. When you rewrite it, it is important that you feel it in your body, that you feel it in your aura field, in your energy, in your being, and then you amplify it. This means that you radiate it, you allow it to flow out of your being, like a charge of light and truth. The more you can practice this on a daily basis, the more you will change and transform your reality. Thus the barrier will disappear and you will find that you are just manifesting whatever you need without even thinking about it. Our message to you today is surprisingly simple, but it is a particularly important key nonetheless. It allows you to manifest what you want in your reality, and we want to support you in achieving this. We love you deeply and thank you. We are the Andromedians. This week guidance from the Ascended Masters, Galactics, Earth Elements, Phi Elders, Angelic Legions, and Archangels known as the Collective. Today we answer a question from a Lightbringer who asks, How do you reconcile the sudden knowledge that you are a multidimensional being who not only has had several lifetimes as an Earthling, but who has suddenly remembered their star family origin? How do you merge a deep love for Earth with a longing to go home? Greetings, friends. We are very glad to have this time to speak with you today, and to address this vital issue that so many are dealing with now. For one, you did not come here to feel entirely at home on the earth. Those of you whose soul connections will always beckon you back to the planet or star system you come from, came here to assist earth and her people at this very difficult yet intriguing and transformative moment for earth and for this galaxy. You came to hold certain frequencies of light that would help awaken earth people, assisting them in increasing their awareness and vibration to where they would never again return to the slave state humanity has endured for millennia. You are not alone in this. You are always assisted by your home culture and soul family. There are many thousands, even millions of off-world cultures and races of beings who have been either incarnating upon the earth or assisting from without, to the degree permitted by universal law. They too came forward to assist at this time, and are not without their moments of sadness and feelings of isolation, if not outright regret at having made the decision to incarnate in human form. Now, you speak of a deep love for planet earth, and that is understandable, as you have formed very real and soulful connections to loved ones here, as well as a deep appreciation and love for earth plants and animals, her oceans and mountains, open plains and wide expanses. She is indeed a magnificent planet a singular one in many respects and your appreciation of her supports all life upon her, and encourages her to continue to maintain as much calm balance in her life systems as possible. What is difficult is that in your internal makeup, you are not from here, as they say, and will always feel the tug of home in your heart space. That feeling is there not to make you feel unhappy or ill-suited to earth life, but as a gentle reminder of who you are and why you are here, and of the presence of all those who support your earth mission. Most people are not aware that they have an earth mission. There are some who simply reincarnate into human form, without first moving into the higher realms and pausing there to review their last earth life let alone to plan their next earth life their next set of experiences and opportunities for growth and to blueprint their earth mission we find that those who ask the question you are asking most assuredly do have an earth mission and it is important to realize that this is not the same as what most people call their life purpose that generally refers to one life work or overall contribution during their waking hours throughout their earth life that is an important and treasured aspect of earth life and we thank all those who are contributing their gifts and perspective to better life on the planet. Yet your Earth mission goes far deeper, and extends to a far broader sphere of influence than your conscious work life could ever do. You offer it specifically to assist Earth and her beings in ascending to a much higher frequency, thereby creating a whole higher vibrational form of experience. You volunteered to come in and to assist in ways that your own inner knowledge, as a star being, would greatly benefit Earth and human life. And for the most part, that is accomplished purely through your vibration, and the work you do while your physical body is asleep at night, as your etheric body travels to numerous places and dimensions. There are particular vibrational frequencies, and innate gifts and abilities, that those of different intergalactic cultures possess gifts that those of Earth soul origin are not yet capable of. Starseeds come in from highly advanced civilizations and have for millennia used the various forms of energy work and energetic communication that are more familiar to those in the higher realms and to advanced cultures. Cultures that are advanced to where, for example, technology is often a mix of sentient organic and non-sentient constructed material, or where people regularly speak telepathically, 
or by energy transfer, or in light symbols. The kind of unity consciousness required for those forms of communication is not yet something that Earth people have fully accepted, yet each day, we see marked progress as you indeed walk that path together. You inquire as to how to reconcile your understanding of yourself as a starseed and multidimensional being, with your love for the Earth, and we would say, do not attempt to do so. In the advanced civilizations, conundrums and apparently juxtaposing ideas are not considered problems unless they present the kind of intercultural clash that could result in outer conflict, or a breakdown in communication between races of beings. On a personal level, two ideas or experiences that do not seem to flow well together, and which feel to be in opposition to one another, are lauded as opportunities for growth and new forms of thought. Ah, good. Your soul family members are saying now, you have opportunity here to be a dual citizen, partaking of both cultures in ways that benefit both you and Earth. We look forward to learning of your experiences upon your return home to us, in full consciousness. When they speak of returning home, they refer not to those visits home that you make during your sleep state as you travel etherically, but that time when you cease living Earth lives if you so choose and return to life on your own planet or star system. Until then, a star being Earth mission can be many things. Some work intensively with the crystalline energy grid, connecting human consciousness to the supportive wisdom, higher love and guidance of the crystal consciousness a physical form of living light as well as the light stream of energies that flow through this universe, and which your planet is now increasingly in the flow of. Others work with animals or plant life so that these may develop in consciousness, as well as adapt to earth energies, and the pressures and toxicities of modern living, so that rather than become extinct, these species are able to continue their Earth experience or experiment and continue to contribute to life here. Others assist their soul families in connecting Earth culture to that of other cultures in the galaxy and beyond, assisting Earth in readying to once again be a part of the intergalactic confederation of worlds. This connects to the work of those who are speeding along the path to full disclosure of the ET races. You have read us comment in other messages that some of you are present in your etheric body in high-ranking Earth meetings of government, military, and intelligence officials, and will at times tap one of them on the shoulder, energetically speaking, to indicate that now is the time for the truth to be told, nor can they avoid it any longer. And yes, they know you are there. So our only advice is on this issue, dear one, and to all who feel this issue may be relevant to them, is to accept the seeming imbalance of the situation, to allow both the love for both the earth and for your own home, without feeling that these are in conflict to grasp that you could not be dissuaded from undertaking this great adventure, and in fact considered it an honor to embark upon an Earth life and Earth mission at this time. We would invite you to quite instinctively draw all or paint pictures of your home planet and fellow star beings, if you want to revisit them in your waking hours that way your non-dominant hand may more automatically and more easily be able to draw how these look, than the dominant hand.